Jamie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we are. Look at it. Yes. We are walking out to our pegs. There's Jamie's peg. Number two. Nice, nice, nice. Nice mate. Nice lilies down here as well. I was going to say, I'll probably chuck one in nice yeah. and short here. Couple to the island. Nice. Alright, that's peg number two. Peg number three. Our Lee boy. Looks a bit different though, doesn't it? Yes. Peg number three. So yeah. Oh, look at this mate. Look at these little pads just down here, look. Oh. Oh, that's going to have a snide rod down here, mate. Yeah. So I get from basically this island, across to that island, and down here, open water. But yeah, I'd be interested to see how far they've come over into the middle. I might just keep my angle of pressure this side of the middle. You know what I mean? Let's go and have a quick look at Sherry's pegs, right? Really. But he's actually not as far away as he looks on the... No, I, I remember it being further. This is a good peg, this peg's for. It's just really hard to fish out of. It's so close, isn't it? Like proper, I know, obviously, Jordan fishes it quite a bit. He likes this peg. Yeah. In fairness, it's not as bad. quite as bad as I remember. You can get those lilies there. Yeah. I had a few pickups from catfish here last time I was here. So. Nice. Alright, let's go get some stuff out of the van then. Let's do it. So, on this session, first port of call, I'm going to check a couple of solid bags out. So, on the business end, we've got a Jungle Mix 12 mil bottom bait. We've got the Essential Fruit Topper in yellow. Size 4, Signet Wide Gape, Beak Point. And then we've got a four inch section of braid, avid inline lead, and then we've got just a, a foot long piece of leader there. Um, so the leaders have got a loop in the end, so I can just loop to loop, chop and change them as I need them. So yeah, quick simple fishing. All right, so there we go. There's the finished rig. Bottom bait, central fruit topper little bag of pellet so what I'm going to do now put a little bit of hemp oil in there drop that down on the margin spot and we're fishing all right so here you go guys this is what's going out on the next rod Exactly the same setup as the first one, just by the different hook baits. So we've got a 12mm Salamino bottom bait, we've got a pink essential fruits topper, and we're going to pop that inside a solid bag and we're going to get this one out to the island. So yeah, what I'll we'll do, we'll get this one out and the other one, and then I'll give you a little bit of filming and show you exactly where we've decided to put them. Right, so in this little mix here, we've got some left over from last time when I fished Colbert. There's some Salamino and the Jungle Mix Boilies. Um, I've put a bit of leftover pellet I had in there. Um, it's like some sort of eight or 10 mil pellet. And then I've whacked some of the Salamino liquid over the top as well. So yeah, we're gonna um, obviously chuck this in the boat along with us little solid bag, get that out of the island. We're fishing another one.
So third rig, um, I'm going with just a almost match the hatch. It's a Jungle Mix high class hooker. Um, I'm not going to put anything sort of high visual on it, so I'm not going to tip it off with any tippers. I'm just going to go for that, and then we're going to fish it over a, a little bed of the, the Jungle Mix and Salamino boily, like I showed you before. So, well, um, we're going to just put this one in open water. I think just something different. Got one island and one margin covered, so yeah, let's just go for open water. People opposite me seem to be fishing the margins and um, to the island, so we're going to whack it in open water. No idea if um, this camera is still in focus or not. Uh, well, the wind nearly tripped the tripod over then, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. bag. So pierce that, put a bit of hemp oil in there, get it out. So I've just got the third rod out of the water. Um, I didn't film it because we had a little sort of downpour of water then. Um, and to be honest it is looking pretty dark. So I'm probably going to fly over and the wind's picking up as well. I don't know if you see the bivvy. Um, so I'm going to head over see Jamie. I think he's got all three of his rods out now. Just run through where he's got his. But before we do that, I'll, um, I'll flip the camera around, just give you a little pointer as to where I've got all three rods, and um, they're all fishing, so um, probably just leave them there for tonight now, to be honest. Um, might catapult a little bit of boily out over the middle rod, um, just to give a little sort of better bait. Um, one over on the island, um, might put a, a, a little bit of boily around that, but one down the margin, obviously, I've just been sort of spooning in by hand, um, a little bit of that boily and, and pellet mix I got, so... Um, obviously the ones further out, I can't really catapult that out because it's a different size um, particles in there, so 
I say particle, not particle, but obviously pellet, 12 mil and 15 mil foily. So otherwise we'll end up falling short and we'll paint such a big area that um, we won't be fishing effectively. So we'll uh, probably get a couple of pouchfuls of the 12 and then the 15 mils out separate. And, um, and then we're fishing. So fingers crossed we can um, bring you a fish today. Um, it's looking good for a bite. Temperature's dropped a bit. Well, a bit, I say quite a bit. Um, considering what we've had this week, um, there's quite a strong wind, um, it's a bit cooler, so yeah, I'm kind of glad actually we haven't we haven't still got the high temperatures we've had all week that have been in sort of early to mid 20s, but um, anyway, I'll stop waffling on and I'll catch you guys soon. So just to show you where I've put the middle rod, um, hopefully the wind chatter won't um, deaden out my voice too much, so we've got it in line with this second tree. Um, obviously this being the first one which is that peg opposite um, and then this one so if I do get a tape draw in the night then you know I've got that sort of um, horizon marker to go to. Um, I've avoided putting one over on the island over here for tonight just because I know it's the guy opposite has got one around his side of that island so um, we've got one down to the left hand island which you've seen me boat out earlier. Um, you've seen me obviously drop the other one in um, by hand swing that in so yeah we have three rods fishing so fingers crossed for the night ahead let's pop over and see popple here he is popsters on the thatch oh yes you all right yeah all good mate yeah. got your rods all out yeah all out now yeah so you've got one as i believe he's got one down on these sort of lilies there yeah just on the point of the second patch of lilies oh the second there. patch of lilies that one yeah yeah Nice. Um, the other one I think you showed me you've got out. Uh, I don't know whether the viewers can see, but there's a couple sort of muddier patches of the bank. There's a green bit in between. I've got one there, probably a rod length back. Yeah, so um, it's basically centre of the screen now as you're looking at it. And I've got one just out here towards the bushes, a little bit tighter. Yeah, so. Probably a couple of Yeah, again, centre of that one there, so. Yeah. Been a lot of fish crashing in mate. Yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, I've seen loads of fish sort of topping around this sort of area here. Mate, he must be rubbing his hands in it, but yeah. I... Yet, but... No. Well, plenty of time. They've only just been sort of here the same sort of time as we have, haven't they? So yeah. yeah, I mean what was it now? Just gone five o'clock, so yeah, we've pretty much got just under forty eight hours ahead of us now, so Looking good for Fingers it. crossed, we'll see how we get on. That wind is certainly hacking down that side. Sherry's Bay is like, mate, it's unbelievably calm. There's not a single ripple on the water. But obviously here, yeah, she's um, she's a bit choppy, but we're gonna um, we're gonna put the phone down now. Have a little catch up. Oh, yeah, smaller one, yeah, but. They're coming up for something on the surface, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I have got a few floaters, but... Um, yeah, I, I did put some dog biscuits out, but... To be honest, it's a little bit choppy for it. You, yeah. They, the weather's not as bad as they said tomorrow now. We've got sunshine nearly all day. Nice. A little bit of rain at one, but... So hopefully we can get the floaters out tomorrow and get a few off top if we haven't had a bite. Floater rotor, or we could do some Alan Blair. We could do some bread bomb bread business. Bomb business but, um... You ain't got the right footwear because you've got to have Nike Air Max for that. Yeah, well, I'm a trendsetter, you know. I'm still rocking the superstars. Yeah. All right, say bye, Jamie. Bye, Jamie. Yeah, look who's just arrived. Sherry. Sherry, baby. Say hello, Sherry. All right. Yeah, you? Yeah, not bad. How was the team building? It was right, actually. The Crystal Maze expert. Yeah, yeah it's better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah? yeah. But That's right. Well, you were here about an hour earlier than you thought. Yeah. Happy days. Great. Right, I'm going to grab my barrow, then we're going to get the rest of Lee's kit loaded up, give him a hand, get up to his peg and get set up. Say bye, Lee. Bye, Lee. What a lovely evening, eh, Cher? Yeah. It's fucking rain. bloody dreary. So Cher has just got all three of his rods out. We've got... Where did you put that one? It was... Just in the hole there. Yeah, over in a little hole like over the there. One. The other one you've the second one got is over there, overhanging underhanging bush. Too. Yeah, and the other one is just down the margin here, guys. There's a see that set of lilies there. We seen a, a, a probably a good well didn't see it but seen the aftermath of a good fish roll there. So 
what we done, we used the old bait boat, the old actor bait boat, boated it down there and um, yeah, dropped a little rig just in front of those lilies. So Sherry's got one on the lilies that end. I've got one on the lilies around the corner there. Um, he's got two on the island. Jamie's got one on the lilies and he's got two on the island. I've got, like I said, one on the lilies, one on the island, then I've got one open water. So yeah, we're all fishing effectively. We've um, good bait, good rigs. So yeah, fingers crossed for this evening, but it is, it's turned pretty miserable. It is um, a very sort of light rain, but it's just like, it's like that wet rain, isn't it, Cher? Yeah, horrible. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's, the camera really doesn't pick it up, but like the water is, yeah, it is, um, it's definitely raining. Um, anyway, we're gonna have a bit of a social, a bit of a catch up, chit chat. So um, we'll hopefully have a next bit of footage you'll see. Like I always say, should hopefully be a fish, but normally with my vlogs, it's me the following morning saying we ain't had nothing, but never mind. Cool. That was a good set of legs there, Cher. <laughs> bit of tough stickers on the leg there, look. Yeah. Say bye, Cher. Bye bye. Morning. So we're over in Jamie's swim. Jamie has just got his deeper out. Just seeing if he can find somewhere um, somewhere better to put his hook baits today. Um, obviously when we got here yesterday, like, like all three of us, we just picked an area um, just to get the rods out and fishing for the night. So today is going to be a bit more sort of trying to find these areas um, to put our rods on for the rest of the, the sort of duration of our stay. So Jamie's now, I don't know if you can see that, he is mapping it out with his deeper quite deep out there to be honest yeah, between sort of like eight and ten foot yeah so um just trying to find those sort of clearer areas maybe those pockets <coughs> um and obviously with with the deeper it does show up fish icons anyway but apparently no one uses them deepers for that they um they just use it to find spots which is utter turd in my opinion you can't tell me if anybody's using a deeper and then they find fish on that they're not going to go on that they're going to fish that other little area that has no fish in it that looks better on the screen oh that's lovely is that a raindrop or bird poo on my arm it's fucking bird poo oh, dear me. <laughs> a little bit of bird poo on my arm that's good isn't that good luck though that is good luck yes right we're going to carry on doing this um and catch up with you a bit later right bit of a change up now so fishing solid bags yesterday and through last night and didn't get anything um, always playing in my head tinkering changing things so I've gone back to what has always seems to catch me fish which is the old Ronnie rig now a lot of people say this rig's done it's blown you know it's overused but every time I go back to it I still seem to catch fish not every time because obviously I do blank um, but I don't know, just so much confidence in it. So, yeah, I don't know if you've seen any of my previous videos. I use the, the Gemini Tidy Booms, which are a little fused fluorocarbon leader. I use the Gemini Tungsten Sleeves. And then on the end of there, I've got a Gardener Mugger Wide Gape. And then what I do also, if you can notice in there, the little bead there is a, a Nash Tungsten Sinker. I have to excuse it if it's a bit windy. Um, I, unfortunately, I don't have a microphone. Um, so that basically counterweights that and sits that just perfectly off the deck. And then hook bait wise, as you can see in the background, are the Bait Guru Essential Fruit Toppers. Now these are a pop-up. So two of these weight this hook just perfectly. Absolutely perfect. So yeah, a lot of the boys at Bait Guru swear by these toppers. I mean, you can use them as a pop-up. Um, obviously they do look like a sort of single green of corn or maize. Um, I really hope this wind's not interfering. Um, I like to double them up, a little double stack there. And um, yeah, awesome smell, really sweet. Um, and a lot of the boys use them to tip off um, other hook baits, you know, whether it be, you know, just straight out the bag bottom bait or uh, a really good one is the 
the high class hookers tip for the little essential fruits topper. So we're gonna put this out now, put a little bit of the, the jungle mix and the salamino boilies in there that you've seen. Um, get this out and um, as they say, on the dance floor. Well, unfortunately we've got no fish to report on, but we have seen fish. So this channel between my peg and Lee's, which is down there, we've seen a couple of carp, good sized carp as well. Um, just mooching on up through the middle. About six to 12 inches below the surface. So I've just put a zig out, roughly in line with this sort of recess there. Um, probably about four foot off the bank. That's a six foot zig. So it is quite deep down through this channel. We say about seven or eight foot. So I literally just put it a foot under the surface, hopefully. Um, so yeah, the, the, the pop-up um, that, that I've screwed on uh, using one of the Nash, you know, zig bait screws um, because you're not allowed to use plastic or foam here. So yeah, we've just put on a, a dark coloured pop-up, trimmed it down a bit, a bit more of a barrel shape to it. So yeah, that's out there fishing. The other rod I did move earlier. So we got Jamie's deeper out and found that it is quite shallow here. So I've basically got it where it starts to drop off. Um, it's in about seven, seven foot of water there. So we're a bit further out and we did see sort of fish showing there and the other one that was mid water there is now sort of from from me in line with the overhanging willows pretty much where that coot's swimming across now really um so yeah that's also at the bottom of the shelf there so uh, they've been fishing for a, a couple of hours now so we'll have to um we're just going to leave them there and see how we get on might redo them for tonight, might not. Don't know, see how I feel later. But yeah, it's a strange one. Not seen a single fish come out since we've been here, but the week before, um, it was doing loads of fish. Uh, guys over in, pegs over through there. They um, got cut off by a, a, a big cat last night. Um, but other than that, I have seen no other fish come out by these guys over there. And Obviously Jamie's not had anything down that end of the lake and the guy further down the bottom hasn't had anything as far as I'm aware. So yeah, a bit of a shame, uh, but yeah, it just goes to show that um, it's probably not that we're doing nothing wrong. It's just, it's, it's not happening at the moment, but we're trying to make it happen. We're switching things around. I also switched from uh, solid bags to Ronnie rigs, um, which you'd have seen so yeah I don't know it just seems to be um my luck lately see how we got on anyway this wind's really really picking up now really picking up so yeah let's get the phone away get some battery power in it so hopefully we can do a bit of filming later of some fish on the bank yes good evening ladies and gentlemen guess what no fish. <laughs> Jamie, how's the fishing been going? Uh, not very good, mate. Lee? No, waste of time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Put it bluntly, waste of time. So, yeah. yeah, we've had absolutely nothing today. We've tried all sorts. As I said earlier, we've tried zigs, bottom baits, pop-ups, solid bags. We've tried margins, open water, islands, literally, and we share. Yeah. Jamie's had, Jamie's had a snooze and boil this afternoon, so he was asleep for a couple of hours, and in that sort of time, we literally tried everything and nothing. Um, another guy walked around earlier um, from the peg over opposite over that way, and yeah, he's had nothing, his brother-in-law's had nothing, um, guys over in that peg, they've had nothing. So yeah, as far as we're aware, nothing's come out of the lake since we've been here yesterday. Um, so yeah, you you can sort of take from that that yeah, if nobody's catching, you know, we're not doing nothing wrong, but it's still not good because we've planned this trip for a, a month or two now, and obviously we wanted to come here and catch some fish, but um, it is what it is. We're having a couple of beers, we're having a little bit of a social, a little bit of a catch up, talking about um, nostalgic things, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Yeah. About. Jamie because he's slightly younger, Lee because he's really old, and me because I'm in between. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, 
So we're going to carry on and then hopefully we will see you soon with a fish on the bank in the middle of the night. Whether it's from Lee, whether it's from Jamie, or hopefully it's from me. So anyway, see you later. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Another 48 hours done. And another blank. Um, I just don't know what I need to do to be able to get fish these days. It's um, kind of disheartening, really. Putting all the effort, you know, getting all your kit together, plus the expense of it. And literally, I turn up to a lake, the spawning, not here, but last time, spawning. It's not fishing well, it's temperature's too high, temperature's too low, it's too windy, it's not windy enough, it's just everything. Week before I come here, a um, couple of guys ate 10 fish out on woodland, and then I turn up and I can't even get a run, so I know the bait's good, I know me, me rigs and that are fine, um, it's just it's just the luck, I just don't seem to have the luck at the moment, so yeah, a bit disheartening, a um, bit demoralising. Um, Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get out, uh, back out on the bank soon, but I don't know, I just, yeah. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be out on the bank next. I've got nothing booked in at all for the rest of this year. So, yeah, we're in end of June now, so. I don't know, I might just leave it a few months, um, sort of get my head together, um, have a think about things. One, if I'm gonna continue fishing. Two, obviously, if I do continue fishing, whether I'm gonna, you know, continue the YouTube channel, because. To me, it's pretty pointless making videos of not catching or seeing any fish. I don't enjoy it, and I'm pretty sure you guys who, who take the time out to watch them um, are the same. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, well, yeah, thanks again for watching if you've made it this far. Um, sorry we couldn't get any fish on the bank, so hopefully um, we'll see you soon.